Hello and welcome to yet another review from yours truly, Diagnostic 80. On this episode I have managed to get my mother ducking flippers on a very cool toy indeed, a production sample of the awesome Bucky O'Hare stealth mission Dead Eye Duck from Boss Fight Studio. So without further ado, let's poke us some chodes. I mean, croak us some toads, of course. Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare! Look out! During a trip to Boss Fight HQ recently, I was allowed to take some footage and pics of this super cool repaint of Dead Eye Duck, which currently the crew have no plans to release. Dead Eye Duck is a huge character favourite of mine, and when BFS released the original deco way back in early 2018, I nearly lost my sh**. Don't worry, I was able to relocate my sh** shortly afterwards. Not only did we get the OG deco last year, but we were also treated to a stunning repaint around November that came with a gorgeous lunchbox and some awesome Euro exclusive homage deco weapons for both Bucky and Deadeye. So cool it hurts. This particular stealth mission colour scheme comes off the back of a brilliant Bucky O'Hare stealth mission deco from 2018. I think due to a large number of repaints in the wave so far, Boss Fight have been reluctant to do another one so soon, and it looks as though he will be shelved until much later down the line. I can understand the reasoning behind the decision, but I must say, I would love to have this guy to add to my Bucky and Jenny repaints, because he looks amazing. In fact, give me a stealth mission Jenny as well while you're at it please, and thanking you. These particular decos have not been seen in any Bucky lore over the years, and have been 100% Boss Fight Studio influence, which is something I really enjoy from this toy company. Their deco work over the years has been sensational, and this Dead Eye is no exception. There's no actual physical difference from the previous Dead Eyes, so if you want more deets on his articulation and so on, then feel free to watch my other videos on them. The focus falls solely on the deco for this guy. The previous Bucky figure who shared the same sub-team was decked out in a gorgeous teal and a bluey black pearlescent shiny colour, as well as some tiger stripes. With Deadeye, they went for a similar style that changed the colours up slightly. He keeps the teal for his tiger stripes, but the base colour is a really rich greyish brown, as well as the royal blue for the hat, cross straps, feet and wrist patches, with a touch of grey thrown in for the wrist cuffs and knee pads. The headphones and guns get the same colour as well, a sort of sparkly darker grey. In any case, this deco looks far more stealthy than Bucky's, but what we did find out in the brand new bio card written exclusively for this Bucky figure by Larry Hammer, the the suit has chameleon cloaking technology and is preloaded with 27 patterns and combos, so it only makes sense that Deadeye has a similar tech and maybe this is one of the patterns that Bucky can also have on command. I also imagine Larry has written a brand new bio for this Deadeye figure, but with no plans to release as yet, we may never get to see it. Man that is a sad thought. With the possibility that this may never get a release, I'm just so happy I was able to take some footage and pics of it and play with the figure with my own two hands. I really do hope we get to see him at some point, but in the meantime I can look forward to Bruiser, who looks magnificent from the images so far. Don't forget you can pre-order him right now at bossfightshop.com. Keep them coming, boss fight, and don't spare the ducks. Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare! Look out! Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back with more toy reviews, so keep it locked, subbed, and transfixed to my YouTube channel. I have been Diagnostic80, and you have been wondering why you watch this video knowing you won't be getting the toy anytime soon.